So, there are six distinct production regions for scotch. You've got three of them in front of you. You've heard of Highland Scotch, you've heard of Smoky Stuff. You're going to have a really good idea of how you get there by the time we're done with this class. You're starting with the Glen Murray 12 year, that's Speyside. And Speyside is a kind of Highland. Highlands are not smoky because of the way they malt the barley, they use timber to do that. And as a result, you wind up with something that has a lot of really neat stone fruit and honey and heather kind of flavors. The space out scotches in particular are very delicate, so I would recommend you start your flight there. And then you move across the country and to the western coast with the Isle of Jura, right? <laughs> so Jura is, the whiskeys off of that island are unique because they're both aged and distilled right next to the ocean. And they're in oak barrels. Oak expands and contracts under barometric pressure. That's why they used to use it for ships. That's why they still use it for whiskey. And the interesting thing about that is that it lets the salt air in next to the whiskey. So you have something in that glass that is not unlike lightly smoked salted caramel, which is super unique. It's also finished out in bourbon casks, so there's a little bit of a caramel tin tinge to it, which is really neat. Now, the Ardbeg is a campfire in the best of possible ways. When people talk about smoky scotches, that's what they mean. Definitely sample that one last. They use peat to malt that barley, and you have to malt barley in Scotland because Scotland's cold. If you don't have anything for the yeast to eat, the yeast doesn't make alcohol, and then we're all sad, and that's not okay. So what they do is they get the barley damp, they put it on on four spread out in a thin layer they put a heat source underneath it they bring it almost to the point of sprouting and that's the malting process that triples the sugar content and it gives the yeast something to eat now if you use timber you get something like the Glen Meringue. If you use peat bog, peat bog is basically baby, a baby fossil fuel. If you shoved it under a continental shelf, it would turn into coal or oil and left it. You know, so it burns really, really super oily, and as the smoke comes up through the molten floor, the particulates catch in the barley, and distillation is a water-soluble process, so you have a smoke flavor. If the smoke is initially too much, put a couple drops of water in there, that'll pull the particulates the smoky particulates to the top, you can get them in one go, take another drink of water, and then there's some really neat herbal things underneath. So, 